So welcome to our Friday video this week. On Tuesday, I videoed walking through the church, how empty it is and how different it is and what we look out at um, when we're on the stage, looking out into the em emptiness in, in the chairs and then walked in and, and just showed some of the things that uh, the bags that we're using and, and handing out. As I was thinking about that today and thinking about this video, I, I think this is a time when people might feel invisible. I don't know about you uh, and how you feel or what you were like younger, but I was kind of one of those guys who sat in the back and didn't really draw attention to myself, didn't really want that attention, just kind of, you know, did things from, from the background. It would have been easy, I think, for me to, to not show up at things and not be seen or or not not missed. And I'm thinking maybe some of you kind of feel like, where do I fit in all of this? Do do we as staff, um, are, are you thought of? Are you remembered? And and you definitely are. And, and that's really what I want to say to you today. Maybe you're not in the building. Maybe we don't see you all the time, but please be assured you are not forgotten. You're valuable. You're important. You're not invisible to us. And and thinking about that, I wanted to to just re reassure you. Yes, you can reach out to us anytime. You can email us at church. Um, you can um, text us on our phones. There are lots of ways um, to get hold of us. But I'm thinking about that value and worth that maybe we're wondering about. If we don't show up, is it, are, are we still valued? It, do do they miss us? And and we do. But what does that mean for how we see ourselves too? And I think as we we think about that, um, in Luke, there's there's uh, three parables, and we often talk the, about the parable of lost sheep, and and then the one at the end is the parable of the the prodigal son. But in the middle, there's three verses about a, a parable of the lost coin. And thinking of the lost coin, the, the woman had nine, couldn't find the other one. And she searched and searched and searched and, and looked because that coin was, was valuable. And I'm going to take that a little bit and say, in, you know, a, a quarter is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents, whether it's in your pocket, whether it's uh, fell out of your pocket and, it, and it's laying on the floor. doesn't matter if it's, you know, 10 years old and it's tarnished and somebody, you know, it's just been laying around and it's tarnished. You still, you can take that 25 cents and it's worth 25 cents no matter what it looks like. Because the value is the value. And God's eyes, it doesn't matter if we're, we're tarnished. The value is the value. It doesn't matter if we're worth something in somebody's pocket or we've fallen out and we're on the ground. In God's eyes, we're valuable. And he doesn't miss us. He doesn't overlook us. You're not invisible to God, which is far greater than not being invisible to us. Yes, we think about you, but God always has you on his mind because you're valuable. And that tarnishes, it can be, you know, the brokenness that we feel right now in, in our world, all the things that are going on, you know, at home more, not out as much, not connecting with friends in a face-to-face -face kind kind of way. All those things add to, to how we're thinking and feeling about ourselves. If I was in, in the back of the room in, in high school, in, in class, and, and they would call on me to answer, it's just like, wow, you even know my name. Uh, and, and I, of course, I, I know they did, but I kind of sat in the back because I didn't want to be up front. Not everybody wants to be up front. And, and God didn't make all of us to be on stage or to be in front of people. But it's not about being in front. It's not about how it's how you are seen by others. It's how God sees you. Because God loves you. Um, he's poured out so much for you. You're constantly on his mind. I just want to reassure you, you're not invisible. You're not invisible to God. You're not invisible to us. We pray for you. We think about you. You are 
important. And you don't need to be seen to be important. You don't need to be perfect and all polished and, and have this great smile on your face because life throws things at us and it's life and, and we struggle with some things and, and we get through some things and, and, and we become better people through a lot of things and a lot of those struggles. But that doesn't take away our value. Actually, I think it can add to how we see ourselves and to realize how much God cares about us. I wanted to leave you with that thought. Don't forget this Sunday, uh, service is at 1030 again. Uh, we're going to open up the, the Zoom afterward. Uh, we'll be done about 1115. And then we'll open up the Zoom virtual lo uh, lobby. And, and I sent email out again on Monday that tells you how you can connect with that. Again, if you want to, uh, you didn't get it or, or you, you don't have that any longer, uh, you can email me, don at richmondbaptist.com, and I can get that to you. Or even on Sunday morning, if you email worship at richmondbaptist.com, we can get you uh, the link to get into that Zoom virtual live um, lounge um, virtual lobby. I figure I'll get it sooner or later. And um, hopefully we will see you Sunday morning and have a great rest of this beautiful sunny day. I hear the rain is on its way.